Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to configure Node.js in IntelliJ IDEA. So, and here the first step is we need to install Altair or JDK higher version. So, Altair, if you go to command prompt, let's use CMD. Now, here if you write Java C, Java C minus version. So add here Java C 12.0.2. So that means Java is installed and path has been set. It. So first step is install JDK. So if you like to know here in Google, go add here write JDK 12. JDK 12. Now you can go add this thing and from here you can uh, download and install so it's available for Linux, Mac and Windows so here you need to click this tools so I'm using Adios Windows operating system so there is no need to do Adios sign in the file size is 159 MB 64 bit dedicated to it so like other software you need to only click next 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 after that you can easily install now the next is install node.js so add here in google drive node.js download from here you can find so click there now it's uh, available for windows mac and source so going to select add here windows installer node here version 10 and here 64 bit operating system MSI file size 75.3. Now click on save file. So add here you can see the file is downloaded. Now we need to click add here open file. And here after this is a uh, set of wizard. Click on next. Here accept. Click on next. Here next and here next install so it will take only few second turns to install and here completed the node.js setup wizard has been successfully installed click on finish now here after the next is we need to download and install IntelliJ IDEA so there is one more thing so if you write and here command prompt node yes. so here you can all uh, get after installing node.js node.js command prompt so here this is node.js command prompt that means node.js install successfully now here after let's install add here IntelliJ IDEA so here you can find and it's a idea Java developer professional and here this is all detail now here after click on download so add here this allow for ultimate add here and here this is the free track and here community so here this is the free and open source so if you are using add here node chance uh, so you should download add here ultimate and this are available for windows mac and linux so selected windows now here after click on this download so thank you for downloading the file size is 641mb now here after click on save file so add here it's a downloading so this file that i already downloaded so I'm not going to download, going to cancel. Now here after, let's check. Download. So add here idea U2019.2. So this file that I'm going to install. So double click. So add here, please wait while setup is loading very fine. Installer. So add here 100% done. Now here after. So add here this is the setup wizard, click on next and this is the location where IntelliJ IDEA is going to install. So add here a space required 1.4 GB and this is the space available. Now here after click on next 
and here you need to select this all option now after selecting click on next and here this is the most important wizard add here you need to select add here node chairs so it must be selected for to configure node chairs using IntelliJ idea now here after click on install so and here extracting java empl jar and here installing please wait while IntelliJ idea is being installed so it will take some time so now i'm going to add here IntelliJ idea setup completing IntelliJ idea setup to option reboot or i want to manually repeat later so you should select this option now click on finish now here after the icon is created enter is a idea 2019 double click there now here after click on don't import setting so right here enter is a idea it's opening selecting light option click on next plugin so right here if you want then here you can or enable or disable now hereafter click on ne next plugin so it's all our option if you want then here you can select live edit tool idea bin and here a scala now hereafter click on start using IntelliJ idea now that i'm going to use for free so i selected this radio button click on evaluate Here after let's uh, create new project. So at here I am going to this the important two uh, steps. So at here automatically or uh, at here ZDK 12 or uh, the path has been settled because in my system ZDK uh, installed there. Now here after this I am going to use for IntelliJ idea. So here you can select Node.js and NPM. Okay, so if you are using Java, you should select this option. So I am going to select Node.js, NPM. Now here after the next is so I have Node.js. Here you can find Express. Click on Next. Now here after let's give the project name. So giving idea test. This location going to create the file. See user on idea project. The name test package file is npm. Here node.exe. Now here after click on finish. So at your loading project and here the opening files. Now click on close. So this is the first time that I'm using, so it's uh, taking time indexing first. <coughs> so I think it's all are done at here name test version description main now here after the project is created with the name test and if you click on uh, this symbol so here you can find idea and here this all those things and here package json here you go to external and here you can find node.js and here this all those things and here code module now here after the next uh, thing is so let's go to add your file and here you can go add your setting 
So somewhere here is the setting. Now here after let's go add here plugin. So add here or you can find if I tap add here node JS. So node JS so add here it install and here these tools are installed so it's so fine now here after the next is go to version and uh, here after the next is let's go to editor and here let's find node chairs so node chairs and npm now here you can uh, see at here so this is the path that added c program file note exe if the path is not uploaded so you should click at a triple dot after that you should add so here after uh, and your type script version 3.5 it's added so it's uh, looking fine there is no any problem at here with node chairs now here after click on Okay. So the last step is let's create a new file. So go to right click on test here after new and you're going to create JavaScript file. So add here now let's give the new JavaScript file. So add here I'm giving Adam. Now here after press enter. So add here Adam.js file is created. Now here after the first is so this is for add here this two code out for testing. So add here configure dot low. Now here after this I'm going to paste that paste here and here after let's uh, save and here after right click and here you can find run Adam chairs. So add here hello it's a display. So whatever you double code it's a display that means code running fine. Now here you can do some modification. Hello, how are you? Now here after if you right click and here after if you do execution, run Adam JS. So again it's a display. Hello, how are you? So this is the thing. Now here after the next is so this code that I already written. So add here this is the Node.js program. Now let's uh, paste add here. And you have to add here listen. You can write add here anything like 8082 and here where STP and here rewrite and here listen. So if I and here rest in, so it will display at here hello world hi. Now here after let's save that and here after going to run. So at here it, it's run, there is no any problem. So I want to check the output. So at here simply you need to uh, copy this one. And here in this place going to give at here 808 here. Okay. Now here we need to check 8082. Now go to Google Chrome. Now here press enter. So at here it's displaying hello how are you. Now like this if you do any modification, hi, hello, so at here going to write, hi guys, now here after, let's uh, uh, save all, and here after, we need to run, once again, run Adam JS, stop and rerun. Now here after, let's go and browser, press enter, so it's, uh, you can see, hello guys, hi guys, hello world, hi guys, it's the display. So that means Node.js is working fine. After that, you can use IntelliJ IDEA and write on Node.js coding. So this is the way we can set at here Node.js. And here we can configure Node.js on IntelliJ IDEA. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.